Greetings! Welcome to a cathode blurb tube video. Yeah, LGR blurbs thing here with the, another thing that <laughs> happens whenever you're browsing late night eBay and you just see something recently posted. Buy it now or impulse buy because dang it, look how cool this looks. This is a Kawasho Model 3706 five and a half inch CRT radio clock thing that goes underneath an 80s kitchen, <laughs> you know, that counter thing, you know, one of those under over cabinet deals with mounting hardware. Probably not going to be doing that. I don't really have a counter that would be appropriate for it, but perhaps someday that'd be awesome because I love these kind of things. I used to have one like this ish. I think it was a GE thing uh, as a kid where my dad had it, you know, he was always having it out, but that was a little black and white five inch thing. This is color, which is pretty darn neat. I I, I don't know. I rarely ever see these in color. Uh, I see a lot of very similar things in terms of the form factor while thrifting, and I'm always very tempted. But the fact that this one was color, and it just looks so cool, and in the box. You know, I don't know if this is new old stock. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I just kind of bought it. Okay, it was like 2 in the morning. So, yeah. Uh, it looks great, though. And I love the pictures. <laughs> Well, it's on a boat. Uh, it's in a living room. It's in here. It looks older than 1988, but I don't know, man. A bunch of people I know still had places that look like this well into the 90s, early 2000s. Oh, let's see what we got here. Got some specs. Yeah, five and a half inch color TV radio clock programmed with an appliance outlet. Deluxe five and a half inch. Oh, okay. LED digital alarm clock with full functions, including snooze. Fantastic. And yeah, so it's got the, uh, the appliance outlet, the little extra thing that plugs in the back. Wake up to coffee. <laughs> Plug in your coffee maker, and then when the alarm goes off or whatever you set it to, you'll have uh, like FM radio and coffee will just, just start away if you've got a Mr. Coffee, one of those instant on things. Not so much nowadays with so many things that have soft power on, but whatever. And other things. You can plug it into a car. Fine. Cool. Great. I just want the color CRT. Let's open it up. Actually, before that... I want to show this that I found, this old Best Buy ad from 1988, which is how I am just assuming that's when it was uh, produced, or at least some version of it was produced in 1988. Maybe this is an older one. Either way, Best Buy had it for $169.99. Take it with you or mount it under a kitchen cabinet. Includes car cord, a battery pack, and mounting brackets, AM, FM, radio clock, Kawasho 3706. Look at the prices of those other things. This crazy Mitsubishi was at a Diamond Vision 2 washable anti-reflective screen. Is that a projection TV? 40 inches. Anyway, 169 though for this in 88, around $415 accounting for inflation. So uh, relatively affordable, but not, <laughs> not as much of an impulse buy as it would be here in 2021. So it has indeed been opened and the seller showed some photos and whatnot, but I don't think it's been used or if it has, it's very nicely put back. I mean, I don't know. Look at all these. So the mounting hardware here, that's all still wrapped up. So it's at least never been mounted. <laughs> ah, operating instructions. We'll get to that. Okay. Well, something's taped up in there. <laughs> Let's just pour it all out. That's really fresh looking. <laughs> yeah, it's just like all taped to everything. Ooh, yeah. That has a smell. Wow, dude. <laughs> That's pretty neat. So yeah, it does look very lightly used. Yeah, I mean, it's got some dust in here. Yeah, so it's got some dust and a few like little light marks. So definitely not an old stock, just very well kept. Which is fine. Yeah, little little bits here and there. T 
TV tuning, radio tuning. Got the appliance outlet here for 600 watts max. All other appliances, 960 watts. Oh, TV sets or lamps, 600 watts max. Okay, so not over 900 watts. They'll be plugging toasters into this. And uh, yeah, that works. That works. So at least the strings are in place. And it's good. That's awesome. <laughs> I really like the way this thing looks. Pretty satisfying little volume thing. You know, it feels cheap, but um, not too cheap. And the fact that it's color, that's just fantastic. All right, there it is. So there's the uh, external thing you can do either, I, th I think RCA in, definitely RF in. Delightful antenna. Oh, that, that still feels pretty good. <laughs> Man, though, that smell is overwhelming. It is that 80s electronic smell, like, like an old VCR or an old TV, I suppose. It's been locked up for so long that uh, it's just giving off gases. <laughs> it's just been farting in there for who knows how many years. And uh, yeah, it just, just smells like capacitors and things so oh this is all the mounting hardware okay so this is all just mounting hardware that maybe has never been used all this stuff so that's never been opened i guess because that still looks like original tape there at least all right <laughs> i've never actually seen one of these mounted myself uh back in the day we always just you know took it around uh camping or to a random workplace or like a church event or just hanging around the house doing things in the carport or the basement or you know just wherever you need a little tv set but again those were always black and white so having never seen one of these little thingies in color is pretty pretty cool Got a little nine volt battery here which the box refers to as a timer saver battery backup for power failures so it keeps your timer going even if your power goes off or it gets unplugged Curious if that's an OG old battery. <laughs> it's certainly uh, bulging a bit. Look at that. Don't want to use this. Yeah, so it's not like super, super old. January 1999 is the install date or best if by date. So from the 90s, but <laughs> it's still over 20 years old. So yeah, uh, not going to be using that. <laughs> <laughs> See if there's any surprises in here. Ooh, a diagram. I like diagrams. Look at that, an example of antenna grounding. Ah, more illustrations. Yeah, that's nice. Straightforward. Not an absolute overload of text. It's just what you need to know, right? Yeah, man. There's the external antenna stuff. In the event that FM TV reception is not being satisfied, <laughs> an external antenna can be plugged in to provide better reception. So I'm going to assume that's RF, but... Ooh, schematics, dude. Like, they didn't need to include this, but they did. How nice is that? Although, man, that is... Um, really small. wonder how big the paper was that they shrank down for this. Because, yeah, that writing is... I mean, it's legible, but man, I almost need a magnifying glass. Even with my glasses on here. And uh, nearsighted, even, so... Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Important notice, don't return the unit to retail. Indeed. Hong Kong! Eh, let's power it on and see if we can, I mean, at least get some radio. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I have anything for that adapter in the back. I, I think I do. I just don't know if it's going to be compatible with this. And then I also have an analog TV solution that I've set up here at home. I don't have it set up right now, but that allows me to broadcast things like Chromecast or laptop or whatever uh, over the air so it can be picked up by analog TVs like this. And that would allow us to do stuff without needing that adapter, but, uh, yeah. Oh, 
All right, got power to the clock at least. Looking pretty good. Well, it's tuned to country. Yeah, nobody, nobody. Nobody. Man, nobody at all. Not unusual to pick up country around here. Yeah. Getting all sorts of good strong signals in here. Uh, I do have it right up against the biggest windows in my uh, kitchen, so that makes sense. I usually get a good reception in here over FM, but either way, it's awesome. The antenna's not even fully extended, just partially. Well, that's cool. Let's get over to the TV side. Ooh. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Let me switch over the... It's a little better, I think. So that's awesome. This is <laughs> looking nice. I mean, considering it's just fuzz. Um, so obviously we're not going to be picking up anything unless we uh, set up my analog TV setup. Yeah, power button's intense. They really want you to <laughs> make sure that you're not easy to move around like these other ones. They're all nice and easy. All right, let me go see if I can find a, uh, a cable to get the input in the back going. Let me see if I can get a timer here, or just the, set the time. Oh, what time is it on? There we go. Nice. This is awesome. I like it a lot already. The smell is intensifying as it's warmed up. <laughs> mm, smells like old. All right, we can find our daggum cable. Yeah. Well, here's the cable I was thinking that I had, and I do have it. But it's not quite what I was remembering it might be. I was hoping for something with the female ends, but that's okay. So that'll just plug in there. It is 3.5 mil, but this is one of those three-pole things. I actually use this for camcorders and... I think I used it for the Raspberry Pi 3 at some point. But, uh, yeah. Let me see if I can uh, try something down to plug into this. Oh yeah, while I'm thinking about it, with the battery over here, there we go. Okay, so no, that cable did not work. <laughs> the RCA one to three and a half millimeter. It might just be the wrong cable or whatever in terms of the wiring. I was reading that some people had gotten that kind of a cable to work with this, but it's not working here. What did work, however, was just taking three and a half mil into composite. So just making a straight through RF cable. And I've got a Sega Genesis plugged in and going over there. And now if we switch over to VHF the low band here and then tune it to whatever the Genesis is. <laughs> Neat. That's a pretty crappy set of converters and cables that I've got going on over there. <laughs> So if I did uh, get some better quality ones, you would get a better picture than this. I'm actually just using some audio cables, and uh, yeah, there, I've tried this before on some other TVs and stuff, and I got similarly crappy results. So, but hey, you know, considering what we're doing on a little 5-inch CRT, it's not too bad. But yeah, <laughs> better quality cables would certainly help. You know, I'm sitting a couple feet away from the screen here, and so it's, uh... Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's not too bad. Tolerable. 
I certainly would have played the crap out of this back in the day. Like, oh man, portable little color CRT to play some Sonic. Yeah, like when it's tuned in about as good as it can, like this right here. That looks pretty good, man. Pretty good. Yeah, I think I've got that about as in focus as it'll get. It's not too bad at all for such a tiny little screen. Reminds me of playing like on a uh, Commodore SX-64. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having to like move my head way in here just to see some of that tiny text. It's just pretty fuzzy being some of the small stuff, but yeah, like that right there looks awesome to me. <laughs> it just does. <laughs> I quite like the way it sounds coming through that speaker over there. I don't know how big of a speaker it is, but sounds all right, actually. There. Dang it. Tiny CRT. No. No. <laughs> go down. There we go. It's really hard to see a lot of the red stuff on this screen and projectiles. Like it just sort of blends in with the noise in the background. Uh, there are some adjustments, of course, over on this side over here. So I got, I guess it's contrast, brightness, a little flicker. You could use some deaxit and some color. Ooh, black and white. Hint. And what's this other one down here? Vertical hold? Yeah. Yeah. This is such a neat little device. I mean, it's not the tiniest. But it's still pretty little. Uh, yeah. I guess that's about it for this. Everything works, <laughs> and the smell. I I wish I could get that across. It's it's almost like a like fertilizer with a hint of lime or something. It's it's just that particular electronic smell. Um, yeah, it almost smells clean and like toxic at the same time. Sure is neat. I enjoy this thing. Yeah. Thanks for watching.